All right, so welcome back to what if what if something happens or what if something didn't happen in the NHL in the past and we run it through NHL 22 simulator franchise mode and see what happens. Somebody put it in the comments. What if Patrick Waugh wasn't traded to Colorado? I'm wearing my Patrick Waugh Colorado jersey because I like this jersey more than I like my Montreal one. Either way, we have moved Patrick Waugh back to the Montreal Canadiens. In fact, what we have done is we've reversed the December 6, 1995 trade that saw Andre Kovalenko, Martin Ruchinski, and Jocelyn Thibault go to the Montreal Canadiens in return for Patrick Waugh and Mike Keane. Now, because we're using Snipe and Score's 1997 rosters, we also had to reverse Andre Kovalenko going to the Edmonton Oilers for Scott Thornton. So Scott Thornton is back on Montreal, Mike Keane and Patrick Waugh also back on Montreal, and back on the Avalanche are Kovalenko, Ruchinski, and Tebow. So let's go take a look and see what the rosters look like. We have turned off injuries, and one of the things that I pointed out in my last video, uh, the what if Wayne Gretzky stayed with the Kings, was it was weird to have current playoffs and shootouts and all that stuff in that series. I figured out how to change that. So we kind of have as close to what it used to be uh, back in 97 as possible here. So Brian Savage, Pierre Turgeon, Mark Recchi is your top line. Koivu, Damfus, and Kovalenko, your second line. Val Bure, Craig Conroy, and Stefan Richet, your third line. Donald Brashear, Turner Stevenson, and Darcy Tucker as your fourth line. I mean, we've got the right coach for this challenge. Malakoff, Brisebois, Quintel, Popovic, Reve, and Wilkie. David Wilkie. Uh, let's see if we can do a little bit better on this. I think if we do Craig Reve and make that a one, because this was a minus two plus two. Yeah, let's go this way. Um, Two-way defenseman, Malakov and Breeze by everybody else is a defensive defenseman. And in net, Patrick Waugh and Jose Theodore. Is that right? Yes, because Thibaut. Uh, Jose Theodore would, of course, go on to steal the heart trophy from Jerome McGinla later on in his career. But right now, he is a 79 overall backup at age 21. Patrick Waugh is 31. Let's take a look at oh this won't show his career stats because of the way this works everybody's a rookie so there you have it we head into the season where Patrick Waugh doesn't leave the Montreal Canadiens so through December we're at 19 to 13 4 and 1 I don't know how that works because we only have ties we don't have shootouts oh the overtime loss okay so the ties are still or overtime losses still count as one point. Again, I gotta figure that out. Let's take a look at the stats for the team, though. Saku Koivu is leading the team in scoring 33 points. 32 for Pierre Turgeon, Mark Recchi with 32, Stefan Richet with 26, Vincent Damfus with 25, and Craig Conroy with 20. But more importantly, Sir Patrick, a 14-11-1 record, uh, four shutouts, a 909-266 goals against average. Look at Jose Teodor, though. You can see he is the goaltender of the future for the Montreal Canadiens. 5-3, one shutout, 9-3-2 with the 211 goals against average. So just after the trade deadline, an interesting thing is happening here. We're not winning. Uh, January was rough. I don't think we got a win in January. And now we sit seven points out of a playoff spot. Let me take you back to January here. We won. We got the point for the tie. Another win. And then it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven games until our next win. Uh, it has not been kind for the Montreal Canadiens with Patrick Waugh back between the pipes. 
Well, as you can see below, the Montreal Canadiens missed the playoffs, finishing 7th in the Atlantic again, using current day standings, but still not finishing in the top 8 uh, of the Eastern Conference. Missing out by around 10-11 points, so it wasn't really Patrick Waugh leaving the Montreal Canadiens that theoretically started the downward spiral of the Montreal Canadiens, who, uh, I mean, they're the last Canadian team to win. They won in 93-ish? Either way, Patrick Waugh back on the Montreal Canadiens. Don't make the playoffs. Let's look at the team scoring and the stats at the end of the season. Pierre Turgeon uh, is your leading scorer with 64. He's tied with Saku Koivu, but had 30 goals to Saku's 18. Stefan Richet with 60. Vincent Damfus with 59. Recky with 55. Craig Conroy with 42. But more importantly, again, we're here because of Patrick Waugh, who just barely snuck out a 500 record, 29-28. Three overtime losses, eight shutouts, a 9 10, 257. His stats were fantastic, other than the win loss. Not sure where the team lost this. Scoring from the defense happened. Just, uh, just gave up too many goals, I guess. So let me know in the comments. Let me know what scenario you want to see for the next what if. We've done Gretzky back on the Kings. We've done. Mario, no. We've done Patrick Waugh back to the Montreal Canadiens. It doesn't have to be those, though. If you want to see a crazy trade current day, we're, we're limited to the rosters that are available on Xbox Series S. But on the same token, I want to see a little bit of craziness as well. I'm telling you, I think the next one might be Matthew Kachuk and Drew Doughty either traded for each other or playing on the same team. Either way, let me know in the comments. Hit that subscribe button, share with all your friends. We got to get those subs up as well. Make sure you're uh, following, make sure you're subscribing, and uh, yeah, hit up those comments. And make sure you check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Crash Andrews. Guys, thanks for hanging out on this one. Thanks for the suggestion. And uh, yeah, we'll see what What If brings next time.